quite hardy compared to everyone else. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, to this day, I still can't remember why, I just remember really. My vision was blurred, the salty water filled my eyes, and I was so out of breath, my chest was swimming. I was really nowhere and escaping from something, and my memories now fade down through streets that now I can bear to return to, or even in my mind's eye either. Imagine that. It was now, when I was 12 years old, that I first met you. Running through rain, leaving somehow in broken flip flops and a baggy orange vest up that soaked through. Breathing in through loud bouts of panic, running in the storm and moving grey clouds, trying so hard for my 12 year old legs to run them out, but they never end. The bees that dangled from the side of my shirt danced with the sound of the rain, but then something stopped me, it was you. I heard you singing, a sound that whistled, and I know it sounds really crazy to explain, but I stopped there anyway, outside of an empty house, completely neglected. With cracks in the walls and a broken roof, it was a house that everyone who came had rejected. The kids would run past scared because they believed it was a haunted house. They said it could never be repaired because the monsters would come out just to tore them out. So legendary, builders were scared to ever come and saw it out, so it was left there. Broken and alone, like a mirror, as I stood opposite, gazing on on my own. But for some reason, I trusted you. And anyway, I couldn't be afraid of a haunted house when I lived in one and escaped. So I stayed, stood tall in front of the creaking wood and cracks as the rain continued to pour, I stayed. And when I walked in, I saw a solid oak tree stood, and ivy and made tracks all the way up the broken wall they stayed. The garden was overgrown with a vast array of colour without a single seed being sown. They too had stayed, and how, in a place so empty and so void of love, could so much life will itself to exist and thrive? And how, with nobody to take care of it, could nature survive? I stood in front of the oak tree like a long lost friend, gazing on, you know, truly seeing, feeling like I'd never really noticed life before, all the roots under the very place that I stand. I reached out to hold it, but no matter how hard I tried, I just kept finding my own hand, and I understand why you brought me here to this broken and empty building of fear, because it wasn't true. All the worlds I was passing through, love and nurture doesn't always come from where it's supposed to. But it doesn't mean it's not there, because just by stepping outside, you can feel that it's everywhere. And I know that now, that we're all free. With no past at all, with unique eyes and a new life, with new roots growing in the ground. I don't know, truly standing tall, who surprised the world by willing herself to live with no one else around, right outside an empty house.